Good morning. It's 6.05 from KFOR's 24-hour newsroom. I'm Johnny Adcox. Currently, it's mostly cloudy and 65 degrees. The Nebraska Supreme Court has ruled that an inmate was not harmed by prison rules that limited his access to the prison law library to one hour a day. Christopher Payne appealed last year after Lancaster County District Court granted summary judgment in favor of the state prison at Tecumseh. Payne argued that he needed more than one hour a day in the prison law library so he could prepare for an appeal for his criminal conviction and four lawsuits he had filed against authorities. The state's high court agreed with the lower court, saying that Payne's limited access to the law library had not hindered his ability to repeatedly bring his grievances to court. A Douglas County Sheriff's deputy faces a charge of possession of a controlled substance following an investigation by the state patrol. The Douglas County Sheriff's Office says Deputy Kristen Jones turned herself in to the state patrol on Friday and was arrested. The investigation leading to the arrest began in April when the 37-year-old Jones was assigned to clerical work. The Sheriff's Office then turned the case over to the state patrol. A Western Nebraska woman convicted of helping her husband kill her himself has been sentenced to time served in three years of probation. 53-year-old Deanne Kimball was sentenced on Thursday. She had pleaded guilty to no contest to a felony charge of aiding a suicide. In exchange for her plea, prosecutors dropped a charge of concealing human remains. The Nebraska Supreme Court has dismissed the appeal of a same-sex couple seeking a divorce in Nebraska. KFOR's Dale Johnson has more. The decision came in the case of Bonnie Nichols, a Raymond woman who married her longtime partner Margie in 2009 in Iowa. Nichols filed for divorce last year, but a Lancaster County judge ruled that the court couldn't grant it without recognizing the marriage. Same-sex marriages are allowed in Iowa, but Nebraska's Constitution doesn't recognize them. The judge issued an order giving Bonnie Nichols 15 days to file an amended complaint, but said the case would be dismissed without the ability to refile if she didn't. Nichols instead appealed. The High Court is saying that because she appealed from a conditional order and not a final judgment, it lacks jurisdiction. Dale Johnson, KFOR News. Today is the fourth annual Veterans Freedom Music Festival. The uh, special event is from 11 a.m. until 8 this evening at the Vets Hospital at 600 South 70th Street. Event organizer Dave Rusk says everyone should come on down. It is for veterans and their families, but we want the public to come out. So don't feel that this is a veterans only event. We want the public to come out and say thank you for your service. As well as eight bands, there will be a veteran's color guard, a firing party, taps, food vendors, a raffle, and free parking. Also, kids' activities, including a play area. In addition, there will be an information fair, including all you need to know about VA health care and veterans' organizations. KFOR News Time is 6.08. Lincoln's first forecast is next. KFOR 1240 reminds you to use your summer fun punch ticket. Enjoy free stuff to do all summer long at the Lincoln Children's Zoo, Lincoln Children's Museum, Lincoln Salt Dogs, Paint Yourself Silly, Champions Fun Center, Morrow Hall, and the Lancaster County Super Fair. The KFOR Summer Fun Punch Ticket, brought to you by Hobby Town USA, Laser Tag, Lost in Fun, Da Vinci's, Cupcakes, and more, and KFOR 1240. Lincoln's first forecast, a 20% chance of showers and thunderstorms before 9 a.m., partly sunny with a high near 86, windy with a south wind 17 to 22 miles per hour increasing to 25 to 30 in the afternoon. Those winds could be gusting up to 39 miles per hour. Tonight, showers and thunderstorms mainly before 4 a.m. Some of these storms could be severe with large hail, damaging winds and heavy rain, an expected low around 63. For your Sunday, a 30% chance of showers and thunderstorms before 7 a.m., sunny with a high near 82. Currently in Lincoln, it's 65 degrees. For news, 24 hours a day or to listen online, go to KFOR1240.com. From the KFOR 24-hour newsroom, where Lincoln turns first for news, I'm Johnny Adcox. Good morning, it's 6.31. From KFOR's 24-hour newsroom, I'm Johnny Adcox. Currently, it's cloudy and 65 degrees. 
A 23-year-old Geneva man is facing child abuse charges in the death of his five-week-old son. Anthony Long is being held on $1 million bail, charged with child abuse resulting in death and child abuse resulting in injury. Long was arrested in Omaha on May 31st after the baby was flown there for treatment. Doctors had told officers that the boy had brain injuries consistent with being shaken. The baby died June 3rd. A botched bur burglary at a Catholic church in Phoenix kills a priest who studied in Denton, Nebraska. Reverend Kenneth Walker died at a hospital. Reverend Joseph Terra is in critical condition. Parishioners are shocked. And they're fantastic priests, and I can't believe that they've been shot. For what reason? I, I can't understand what is going on. I just, it's just amazing that uh, people would do this kind of thing. Reverend Walker attended Our Lady of Guadalupe Seminary in Denton for seven years. Phoenix police found a car connected to the attack, but the car was empty. No arrests have been made. New compressed natural gas-fueled buses will be hitting Lincoln Street soon to replace buses in StarTran's fleet that have been in use for the last 12 years. StarTran manager Mike Davis says they are planning to add eight more CNG buses and 11 handy vans over the next two years. In my opinion, this is the best alternative fuel on the market today, taking into account financial and environmental benefits. The benefits of CNG will be realized by all citizens and visitors to Lincoln. Officials say natural gas produces 25% less greenhouse gas emissions than diesel. The costs of the new buses are $484,000 each with an additional cost of $35,000 for the CNG fuel system. State funding covered the additional costs on the first three buses, while Black Hills Energy donated $70,000 to cover the additional cost on the other two. Today is the fourth annual Veterans Freedom Music Festival. The special event is from 11 a.m. until 8 this evening at the Vets Hospital at 600 South 70th Street. As well as eight bands, there will be a Veterans Color Guard, a firing party, taps, food vendors, free parking, and kids' activities, including a play area. There will also be a raffle with a special prize. It's called a Wendy Playhouse. It could be used as a garden shed as well as a playhouse. Um, it'll actually be on site uh, at the VA. We'll draw for the uh, playhouse around 7.30 p.m. You don't need to be there to win it, but you do need to buy a ticket. Event organizer Dave Rusk says there's a special for 13 tickets for 10 bucks. All proceeds support the Veterans Freedom Music Festival. Lincoln's first forecast, a wind advisory is in effect from 11 this morning until 5 p.m. A 20% chance of showers and thunderstorms before 10 a.m. Partly sunny with a high near 86. Windy with a south wind 17 to 22 miles per hour, increasing to 25 to 30 miles per hour in the afternoon. And they could be gusting up to 39 miles per hour. Tonight, showers and thunderstorms mainly before 5 a.m. Some of these storms could be severe with large hail, damaging winds and heavy rain. An expected low around 63. Currently in Lincoln, it's 65 degrees. For news, 24 hours a day or to listen online, go to KFOR1240.com. From the KFOR 24-hour newsroom, where Lincoln turns first for news, I'm Johnny Adcox. Good morning, it's 7.05. From KFOR's 24-hour newsroom, I'm Johnny Adcox. Currently, it's cloudy and 65 degrees. The mother of a slain four-year-old Hastings boy and her live-in boyfriend have pleaded not guilty to charges of child abuse resulting in death. The 29-year-old woman and 30-year-old man made their plea in Adams County District Court. Police say the woman's nine-year-old son fatally shot his four-year-old brother on April 18th. Prosecutors say police, school, and mental health officials had concerns about the nine-year-old boy's often violent behavior. Prosecutors say officials had warned both his mother and her boyfriend in the weeks before the shooting not to have guns in the house and to lock up all knives and other sharp objects. The state's Judicial Resources Commission will, will hold a public hearing to determine whether to fill a vacant county court judgeship in southeast Nebraska. The judgeship is being left vacant with the retirement of Saline County Judge Patrick McArdle. McArdle's retirement is effective July 31st. The hearing will be held August 5th in the state capitol in Lincoln. At the hearing, the commission will receive information on the district's judicial workload statistics and make a recommendation to the Supreme Court as to where the judgeship should be based if there is a need to fill the vacancy. The hearing is open to the public. 
Nebraska Game and Parks officials are preparing to dedicate new cabins at Eugene T. Mahoney State Park near Ashland. The cabins were built with $1 million approved by state lawmakers and Governor Dave Heineman. Heineman will dedicate the first one of the complete cabins during a ceremony today at 2 p.m. But for those staying in Lincoln today, it's the fourth annual Veterans Freedom Music Festival. The special event is from 11 a.m. until 8 this evening at the Vets Hospital at 600 South 70th Street. As well as eight bands, there will be a Veterans Color Guard, a firing party, tabs, food vendors, free parking, a raffle, and volunteers have put together events for the kids. We had over 300 kids last year. They came to me this year and said, we want it double the size. Uh, I said, go for it. So they're, they put together a tremendous uh, kids activities area. Uh, the Lincoln Fire Department's gonna be there with their burn safety house. So there's a lot of stuff for kids out there. So that's why we're encouraging the community to get involved and come on out. Committee member Terry Gillespie said the kids zone is a safe zone with a fence. KFOR news time is 7.08. Lincoln's first forecast is next. Lincoln's first forecast, a wind advisory is in effect from 11 this morning until 5 p.m. A 20% chance of showers and thunderstorms before 10 a.m. Partly sunny with a high near 86. Windy with a south wind 17 to 22 miles per hour, increasing to 25 to 30 miles per hour in the afternoon. These winds could be gusting as high as 39 miles per hour. Tonight, showers and thunderstorms mainly before 5 a.m. Some of these storms could be severe with large hail, damaging winds and heavy rain, an expected low around 63. And for your sun Sunday, a 40% chance of showers and thunderstorms before 8 a.m., sunny with a high near 82. Currently in Lincoln, it's 65 degrees. For news, 24 hours a day or to listen online, go to KFOR1240.com. From KFOR's 24-hour newsroom, where Lincoln turns first for news, I'm Johnny Adcox. <laughs> Morning at 7.31. From KFOR's 24-hour newsroom, I'm Johnny Adcox. Currently, it's cloudy and 65 degrees. A Douglas County Sheriff's deputy faces a charge of possession of a controlled substance following an investigation by the State Patrol. The Douglas County Sheriff's Office says Deputy Kristen Jones turned herself in to the State Patrol on Friday and was arrested. The investigation leading to the arrest began in April when the 37-year-old Jones was assigned to clerical work. The Sheriff's Office then turned the case over to the State Patrol. A Western Nebraska woman convicted of helping her husband kill himself has been sentenced to two time served and three years of probation. 53-year-old Deanne Kimball was sentenced on Thursday. She had pleaded no contest to a felony charge of aiding a suicide. In exchange for her plea, prosecutors dropped the charge of concealing human remains. Five new compressed natural bu gas buses have arrived to be part of StarTran's fleet. Mayor Chris Beitler says the buses will be less expensive to operate and are environmentally friendly. These vehicles will in fact benefit the community in several ways and demonstrate the dedication of StarTran to a high quality, uh, cost efficient, more sustainable transit system. StarTran plans to add eight more CNG buses and 11 handy vans over the next two years. The new buses will replace buses that have been in service for 12 years. And today is the fourth annual Veterans Freedom Music Festival. The special event is from 11 a.m. until 8 this evening at the Vets Hospital at 600 South 70th Street. Event organizer Dave Rusk says everyone should come on down. It is for veterans and their families, but we want the public to come out. So don't feel that this is a veterans only event. We want the public to come out and say thank you for your service. As well as eight bands, there will be a veterans color guard, a firing party, taps, food vendors, a raffle, and a free parking. Also, kids activities, including a play area. In addition, there will be information, an information fair, including all you need to know about VA healthcare and veterans organizations. KFOR News Time is 733. Lincoln's first forecast is next.